Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Trinity K. Bonet from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6 and All-Star 6. Today, I will be recreating my conventional look from the RuPaul Challenge. I will be going from this to this. First step, eyebrows. Cheap eyebrow pencil. Let's do it. Now, I am not a girl who covers their brows. Why? Because I'm lazy. So, I simply trace over mine. They are quite big, but nobody said nothing to John Crawford. Those are big. Jesus. I'm blending them out just a little bit like that, like that, and like this. I'm part of the big brow club, okay? Somebody like it. Love it. I look beautiful already. Thin brush, okay? And an eye primer to trace my brow. Now, y'all probably noticed I didn't moisturize and all of that. I don't do all of that stuff, okay? You know who else wants some big ass brows? Miss Raja. Her brows be big too. And then you go back in with your pencil. And that concludes my makeup tutorial. So now, take a little light brush like this. Walk under your brow bone a little bit. And set your brow bone so it's good and pretty and shiny. Now, this look was all about being blue and beautiful. So, I'm going to be going in my crease with a blue eyeshadow. Light blue, like that. I'm feeling orange again, but blue sometimes. Now, go on your lid. With that same brush that you went above the crease with. And the good part about this is you get to open your lid up as much as you want. I didn't always start with my eyes. A friend of mine in St. Louis, a few years back, did a little touch up makeup class with me and he started with his eyes and it just stuck. Going in there with like a white and then I'll open that up. And I really only do it like right here in the center. And now I am lining by eye. Eyeliner makes the world a difference. Mm-hmm, and that's pretty. Ain't that pretty? That's so pretty. And just like that, your eye be done. I don't know how the girls be four hours doing their makeup. They don't take all that. Put your little mascara. And if you're feeling fancy, cause ain't nothing wrong with feeling fancy, take a brush and you can go in, back in your crease that light blue and that will help open that up with a little color oh a little light pink because that's gonna help me build my my contouring for my nose it's so soft and pretty foundation stick Mug. Boom. Yes. Yeah. Change your whole complex. Late great Tanisha Cassidy says you paint your whole neck, chest, arms, everything. You want everything to be one complexion. This is a nice little brush that I like to use. Like a lot of people use like blending brushes or 
beauty sponges and things of that nature, but this brush is really dope. Like it, it does full coverage. My style and technique of makeup hasn't really changed. Like I've always went for the more like pretty beauty uh, type of makeup because I like the realisticness of looking like a show woman. But it's just, I've gotten cleaner. I've always been into like the, you know, creative side of makeup, body painting and, you know, crazy antics when it comes to makeup because I like makeup in itself. Like I've never been like the cover your brow type of person and all that because I feel like I have enough eye space to do what it is that I want to do. Now every blue moon I will cover my brows just when I really want to kick it up a notch and be in drags and drags, drags, like the New York kids call it in drags mama. They put an S on the end. We want to get some drags mama. I don't use a concealer like everybody else. I actually use clown white. And Clown White is in a sense translucent, so that's what I use to highlight with. Because once you put that white powder on there, baby, you're gonna be the complexion you wanna be. Clown White is thick, but it does what it needs to do because if I'm doing a show, like typically I'm in drag for quite some time. And I don't be wanting to like touch up and do all that stuff. Yeah, that conceal over your top lip and all that, because you might want to, you might want to break your lip down, and you want all that to disappear. You need all your stuff to look one color. Now I'm going to go in with my powder to set my face. Now I set my face with banana powder. It is another translucent color and it just sets really well for me. I put a whole bunch on, right? Real heavy, all up the nose, all up under the eye, all on the cheek. Why? Because you ain't gonna have to do it no more. You got to put no more highlight powder on. Unless you want to. Yeah, unless you want to look like Bianca Daria. And you put on all the highlight powder you want to put on. Like this circular motion, we call this the light bulb forehead. You know, you want to, you want your forehead to like a light bulb. I take my all over powder, which is this complexion. Just put it on there. Put a little bit on your neck, because you want your neck to match your, match your face. Ain't nothing worse than seeing somebody who faces light skin and they neck dark skin. I don't, just, that just don't make no sense to me. Once you do that, take your nice fluffy brush. Magic. Just it's magic. <laughs> I'm gonna sit up here and watch these people conceal their face with five different concealers. And you don't gotta do all that. All you need is your handy dandy clown white, your highlight powder, and your face powder. You are already set to go. So now we're breaking the face down with a raisin type of color. This is going to be like my darkest color to break my face down. I'm going to go all in here because you want everything to look cohesive in one color. And you kind of brush in a little bit because you're closing in your light bulb. Remember, we talked about our light bulb. You want to close in your light bulb. Same brush. Go in with a little orange or peach, right on top of that. For those who are my darker skin sisters, don't be afraid. Don't, you know, you need, you want your cheeks to look defined, so it's okay for you to use a darker blush. And, and, and you can use black, like you can use black, but you don't want to be heavy handed with the black. Take my highlight, go back up under my eye again, and I'm cutting my nose. Just right there though. Cut. Right there. Get your chin. Get your bug. And you'll cut a little like that. Now, going down our nose, contouring the nose slightly. 
not heavy, I hate a heavy contour down the nose. Okay. And cut right up under. Real small, just like that. Now, we'll go up under the eye. As a performer for me, like getting ready quickly is extremely easy. Like I am definitely the girl who works best under pressure. I'm the biggest procrastinator you'll ever meet. Hi, I'm Procrastination, what's your name? And then you will slightly, just a tinge, go up under. So for me, when I do my lip, I like to actually line my lip in eyeshadow. So if you ever lose your eyebrow pencil, your lip liner, just put it on with a little shadow. Oh, sure. You can take your concealer and spread that on your lip. This is actually my eye primer that I'm putting on my lip. So this just goes to show you you know how you buy makeup and everything has a specific thing? Honey, use that for everything, okay? It's all skin. That's how they get you. You don't want to know about lip primer, eye primer, cheek primer, and they all primer. This is primer with the one thing. That's how I see it. Take it a little bit more shadow. I'm gonna do my lip in a shadow too. Look at this color right there. See that? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Magnificent. Splendid. And that, my friends, is what you call an ombre. Simply take your brush again. You're gonna blend all this out. You think you have enough time doing your makeup on the show, but after we done sat there and held a conversation for two hours, then you say, we got 30 minutes of main stage and you frantic and start running and going crazy. So like doing your makeup there is, it's pretty cool. And then like for me, like it kind of just like elevates my mind as to what it is I could do because I never really know what I want to do. I just get there and do it. And then it's like, okay, it makes sense. So that's the fun part about like, you know, being in the competition because, you know, you think you know what you want to do, but you have to make these rash decisions and then be like, oh, shit. I didn't know this was going to come out like this, but you know, I always look at it. God has a plan bigger than yours. So the painting with the other girls are always fun because you get to kind of see their artistry and their ideas and their techniques and how they do certain things. I learned a lot of stuff from watching girls like Raja and Scarlett, who's a good makeup artist, and Jan, like those girls, they know their applications, honey. Shout out to my sisters. I'm just gonna apply a little glitter. Then once you do the glitter, go right back in one more time with a smaller brush with your dark blue, just so you don't lose your crease to the glitter, because the glitter is definitely taking over the crease. Just a small brush to glow. Glowing is my favorite thing to do. Pick up a little bit of blush. Okay. Okay. Now, I have this shimmer that I want to put on. All right, now we're gonna put on some lashes, top and bottom. I've applied my glue. I use Wee Fawn because when you dance and sweat and drag, you don't want your lashes to fall off. And I don't trust that other stuff. I need my stuff to be industrial. Oh, fun fact, I wore the same pair of lashes on Drag Race the whole season.
See, back in the day, this is how we put our glue on our bottom lash. You just dip the glue in a stick and you just rub it across. Because I don't trust that tube. That tube and I put the glue all on your lash and now you got glue all on your lashes. And you can't wear the lashes no more because the glue has covered the lash. It ain't, ain't no good. So what you gonna do? So now, you good because you done covered it with a stick. Put your bottom lash on. Put your bottom lash on. Put your bottom lash on. I'm about to put, put my bottom lash on. I'm about to put, I put my bottom lash on. Yeah. And that's how a bad bitch put on lashes. Just like that. Take you a little bit more blue. Go around your <laughs> Why? Because it's the blue ball. And you want them to see you from the back of the runway. Okay? Go up on here with a little blue eyeshadow. And that's gonna wake that right on up. Look, look at that. So beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, this pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Now, I'm just going to clean my brow up just a tinge. Because you know you've been putting shadows and doing your light bulb on your forehead. Because you want them to be big and dramatic. We talked about this in the beginning. You want big, dramatic eyebrows. Serious people have big, dramatic eyebrows, okay? Ain't gotta be perfect. Because you're not perfect. You gotta mold yourself like that. Yeah, yeah, you do you small. And just because we feel like being drag queens, some of that glitter, that blue glitter, put it all up in there. All right, now the mug is complete. I'm gonna change it to the outfit to complete the look. There you have it, you guys. My blue ball conventional look. The hair, the makeup, the jewels, the whole nine. I hope you guys enjoy watching and learning. Please take the tips and use them wisely. I love you. See you soon. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including Brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.